welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next Meme Tier Monday deck, The Card Factory. This is a viewer submitted deck. That's what these two Ds here. This is a donation deck where this was just built to be kind of a silly deck, but like a deck that has so much card advantage. Basically, all of our units um, just generate more cards for us. And a lot of them generate random cards. And these games are going to be pretty random and it's going to be pretty crazy. So we're going to have like Mage Seeker Conservators create random six cost spells pickpocket that if it nexus strikes create a random spell from the enemy's deck worships like the one um you know uh the one card that doesn't it's in here but anyway we got mage seeker investigator that creates a detain once we cost a six plus cost spell we don't really have any six plus cost spells in our deck but we have the conservators that can create them and the Vanguard Sergeant creates a four Demacia. So that, that's also a six plus cost spell. So we got that's how we generate those. But then we also have back alley barkeeps that just create random cards. <laughs> so you know, those could be six plus cost spells, you never know. We have Eminent Benefactor that will last breath create random epics. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, Grizzled Ranger will create a loyal badger bear for us. Uh, Chevalier will create random challengers. Uh, Lancer will create a random elite. <laughs> so we'd just do a bunch of random stuff. Then we also have some Luxes in here that can create some final sparks. So uh, yeah, it's just the card factory. All of these just get us more cards. <laughs> so it's going to be pretty crazy. Let's see what happens. This is what Meme Tier Monday is all about. We're going to go play in normal. And we're going to go play five games. And just sit back and see what happens. See what we can create. Okay, we'll have some time against a slower deck here with Anivia Trindamir. We'll see what we got. We're going to get rid of the Mystic Shot against Anivia Trindamir. And we will keep these. All right, some more four mana cards. So I'm planning on playing the pickpocket on turn two and hopefully going straight to combat and hitting them with it. If not, if they play a blocker, then I'd have like the war chefs to be able to pump it up. Smells like opportunity. Darn. Just borrow it. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Alright, turn four. That's where our that's where all of our stuff starts, it looks like. Um, let's go with Grizzled Ranger. All right, let's miss some so that up. I can do the first Grizzled Ranger attack. Alright, we're not doing a first Grizzled Ranger attack anymore. That is a good card for me to challenge. Because it's just a little 1-1. One, one. We fight for one frail yard. Uh Batter him. You will remember this day. Lucky you. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Stand and defend. Darn. I saw when they blocked the three four. And then I'd mystic shot. A morsel of the square. Sweet. Genevieve Elmhart. That card's great. Um, something's wrong? Our banner will lead the way. Audio and video are out of sync. No. I'm going to be going on, yeah, I'm going to be going on Amazon today, and uh, finding a new cord for this blue microphone. I think, I think that may be what's causing the little bit of fuzziness for audio for some people is the, the cord. Maybe the cord's too cheap. I don't, I don't really know, but um, that's what I'm going to try in any rate is... 
Man, I wish Ruination wasn't a card. Maybe I should have played Elmheart last turn. Okay, we're good. Okay. So everybody's good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I really wish Ruination wasn't a card, because I don't get to double spell with units. It's not like I can play one unit, and then if they have Ruination, then I play other things. So I guess I just attack in for eight. It's just the strength of Ruination just kind of forces me to do this. And then, yeah, they get to do... Other things. Let's... Let's do other things instead. Um, I guess I'm going to go double Benefactor next turn, so I'll play another Lancer this turn. Ooh, back alley barkeep. But look at just the card advantage. You know, like these Swiftwing Lancers die, we get two we get two more things. Who would face me? The sheer card advantage that we have. Um Drink up. What are you gonna give me? Clump of lumps. Attack! Oh man. We play Silverwing Vanguard. And then we challenge this with a Silverwing Vanguard and we do 8, 10, 12. They're at 15. Um, I do have the double Mystic Shots. Not a bad plan. Not great plan against, you know, more Withering Whales or Grass the Undyings. They've already played two Grass with the Undyings and zero Withering Whales. I'm go this round. Protect me. See if they want to ruination. We'll get rid of that nine nine. Something ancient stirs. Follow my lead. Yeah, GG's. Gonna be heart. There we go. The Hardland Ranger. Twenty awesome months. Y'all get some hype in for Borderland Ranger. Get those hype boats in. Thank you so much. I still know as much about this game as a chimpanzee does about a nuclear reactor. We don't let that stop you from keeping up the good work. Uh, thank you so much there, Borderland Ranger. I hope I hope you try it out sometime. It's a lot of fun and, and you know it's available on, on mobile. You know, you can just play it on your phone and stuff, and it's it's just great. I really hope you try it out sometime. Uh, do I want to keep one Swiftwing Lancer? Maybe. Swiftwing Lancer is a good card. We'll keep one of them. No, I think we... Like, if they had nothing else that was castable in hand, we we had lethal. So, I think that's... Like, right? Like, we had a lot of damage coming in. Or maybe we put them down to one. It was either lethal or we put them down to, like, one. But, obviously, I had the Mystic Shots. They didn't know about the Mystic Shots, but I did have the Mystic Shots. 
in hand that would have finished it off. Nothing escapes my notice. Will you comply, or are you complete? Kind of weird. They're gonna pass. There's like, what's going on here? How does Ash Sejuani have nothing to play turn one or turn two? Or turn three. That seems a little odd, doesn't it? Which four drop do we lead with? I guess Grizzled Ranger. Slow down, will you? Do we really have to? Wow. Switching a brittle steel or elixir of iron or something. Track them down. Just get another eight. Alright, we got another eight and then we're down to nine. <clears throat> Let's go with Arcade. refreshment from a crossroad terra. Detain's not bad. We can find some work for we can find some use for a detain. Bow to no okay. one. Eight mana. Okay, nice. Well, anything in particular that you want the deck to do, you said, you know, you said feel free to change anything about the deck that we're playing up next. Anything in particular that, like, you want for it? Um... Oh no, this is kind of weird. Avarosans, stand together. Bristle, attack. Search them. Mentality. That could be kind of cool. You name it, I'll nick it. Not so great against harsh winds, I suppose. Um. Want to go for pack mentality? Kinda. It's meme day. Pack mentality. Let's go. That's a good good call. Good call. Let's just play pack mentality. It will create a detain for me from the mage seeker investigator. So we do have another detain again now. <laughs> a chill in the air. Nothing escapes my notice. Smells like opportunity. Okay, you want to make a functional Fizz deck. Steal some cards, use Fizz's ability. Okay. So that's the main plan, is functional Fizz. If it's a fight they want. Huh. Not weird. Stay hmm. back.
They should have been frostbiting the Kempunk pickpocket out of these. Like they're they're letting the pickpocket hit them. And that's like the one thing that shouldn't hit them. Well, that's the worst card. That's the worst random card to generate. Obviously, we want to generate frostbite cards, especially harsh winds. Would have been nice. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. Uh, this isn't great. So that was the problem with going with the pack mentality is that suddenly we have no board anymore because I didn't keep uh, didn't keep adding on to it and harsh winds got me and everything like that. But it is meme tier day. You'll it's okay no to farther. it's okay to go for something fun and get completely punished for it. Kill Sejuani. I'm glad we have a Harsh Winds. That was a really good card to generate from the Mage Seeker. I am the Rose. You lucky you. Okay, well, guess guess we're gonna kill Ash so we can actually block and you know not get everything frostbitten and all that kind of stuff. We'll have a harsh winds that we can use. Stand together. We fight for one frail yard. Frostbite is really good. We know one of their cards in hand is Crystal Arrow. It looks like that's what they're going with now. So I'm going to be going with this and this. And have this fight that. That was the card they drew off of Crystal Arrow, because, you know, got the other Avros and Hearthguard bonus. Um... I 
Alright, we have one. I've gathered. Now I give. I basically just have to hope they don't have any more frostbite stuff and no more Sejuani. Will no one listen? Neither of those. Me. Please, Looks like babbling Bjergs are going infinite now. And that doesn't make things easier. Also, they can't have that card either. <laughs> yeah, look at look at me over here. I'm I'm playing the best deck in the game, and I'm beating up a meme tier deck, and I'm gonna go brag about it. <laughs> in normal, yeah, in normal. Share my vision. Karina Brock. Um, I don't have very many spells in my deck, so I don't think Karina Veraza is going to help out too much. Obviously, if they go to attacks, I lose. I kind of I have to hope that they play something first. I play Karina, and then like all five cards at top are all spells. Like the odds of that are so low. Like I don't yeah I don't even know if we actually have five spells left. They will learn to fear the sun. But yeah, if it, all five spells. Behold, my spells. Ah, we just had one. <laughs> Not a very good Karina Veraza deck. Yeah, there's only eight total in the deck. We we drew three, I think. So I think we had five left. Because I think we drew. I think we drew one Mystic Shot, two single combat. But maybe we drew another one. Maybe we only had four left in the deck. <laughs> All right, GGs. So I think we had a like I think we had a pretty good chance with that that game. The pack mentality was not the play that we should have been doing, but that was the that was the most fun play, and so we went with it. They did have harsh winds and brittle steel, and we got punished for it, but that's okay. All right, gonna mulligan these, look for some cheaper stuff. Let's do that. Cool. Oh, we did draw Therm of Johnny Beam also. So yeah, we, we had drawn four, four, out of, four out of our eight. Not, not good chances that we would have hit five spells when there's only four left in the deck. Not good chances at all. I probably need to save Thermogenic Beam for one of their champions. I'm not playing very much removal. The Flea Feather Tracker, of course, trades with the uh, Kempunk Pickpocket. Take from the rich, give to me. I mean, I could beam this, but. They're sitting there, so they gotta have like single combat, right? Yeah, so I shouldn't play Thermogenic Beam because of single combat. Well, I don't know, maybe. They definitely have something in hand that they could play. Okay, so worst case scenario, they have single combat and we just got two for two. That's worst case scenario. Best, best case scenario, they don't have anything else to play. My 3-2 hits them and we get a free spell. And that best case scenario is so good for me. Yeah, getting a judge. That's so good for me that uh, I went for it. Will you comply? Or are you complicit? Alright, we got a judgment. Ah, so that's the card they could have played in hand. 
Key Guardian. And yeah, and that's also good to know that they, they are a Judgment deck. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. I guess I mystic shot Fiora to kill Fiora. I never will find you. Everything I've worked for. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Not sure which one I'm supposed to be playing first, Benefactor or Barkeep. I'm gonna go with the Benefactor. All natural skill, all natural goals. Feel the sizzle. Brittle but wide. Man, I don't want them just using a barrier and keeping Chevalier alive and then just creating something. They can do that this next turn. But not... I don't want them to do it that turn and then untap and do it again. You're covered. Spirit. <laughs> the double judgment. Wonder how many judgments they're expecting me to have. They don't have Deny or Will of Ionia or Single Combat or like any of those, anything that breaks up my judgment. I'm going to be trying Judgment plus Chevalier this next turn. Uh, maybe we don't need to try it with Chevalier. Maybe we just try it with... Because I guess they're, they're going to just challenge the Lux first and so then I'll have to play Judgment at that point to level up Lux. So I might as well display this marquee. Cool, it's a useful card. Colonel Fault! Eight awesome months with Twitch Prime. Y'all get those hype boats going in the chat. Their pride will cost them. No, I think my opponent wanted to play Genevieve and be able to do this challenge before I was able to play for Demacia. So I think that's what they're thinking. They want to do it before a for Demacia. So that's why I played this on a defensive turn. Oh. 
All right, so if they want to challenge and kill Lux, they can. Or cost them their Genevieve Elmhart also. By my honor, you must or their Fiora. My shield is yours. Or it won't cost them Fiora. Let them eat souls. Oh God. My steel is yours. Can you stomach this? It's kind of bad trading because of judgment. That was a good turn for them. That was a great turn for them. I can only play... Yes, yeah, so I can play three things. So I can play my two two drops and then one of the four drops. And I think we're going to play the Chevalier and try to have Chevalier go Judgment. And strike with Chevalier and create a bunch of challengers in hand. Two worlds, one balance. I got the kids. It is me. Please calm yourselves. So I go. These woods belong to us. <laughs> They are also a judgment deck. They could have their, you know, like they, you know, because we stole this judgment or like, you know, we created one from them. They could just have their own judgment. Also. Which is scary. Mm, a delicious challenge. Please work. Please work. Balance favors you. Yes, it works. That's six strikes for the Chevalier. Let's go. <laughs> uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's nine things. I guess I play this Flame Chompers. I don't even know if we play the Flame Chompers. We probably don't play Flame Chompers. <laughs> well, we got the cards. We got the cards. Now can we have the mana to play them? That's what we call the card factory. <laughs> Generating all sorts of free cards. Now the problem, let's see. The problem is like triple spelling. We don't get to triple spell too easily. I mean, I could go, yeah, I guess we're just gonna be double spelling. So we'll go protege. Break their spirits and their swords. And Elmhart. Strength and grace, beauty in the place. That is some value right there. <laughs> GG's. That's some value. We So that one judgment. Okay, so judgment drew us six cards and killed five of their cards. Y'all ever gotten an 11 for one before? That was an 11 for one. That's gotta be like the, like what other card can possibly be an 11 for one? Yeah, and that was that was a free judgment that we generated with our three two that hit him on turn three.
That is insane. That was pretty awesome. All right, we're gonna mulligan Lux, and I'm gonna mulligan Benefactor. Um, nothing wrong with, eh, no, I'll just keep Benefactor. Nothing wrong with Benefactor. It's just, we have a whole lot of four mana units. Um, we'll just keep it. Sight protect me. I'll write my own story. Zufar clipped it. Um, if you missed it. The ultimate value. Get an 11 for 1 judgment. Smell that? A bite to cook it. I don't know if we'll ever have a card that's 11 for 1 again. Like, you have, like, your things like Fiora plus Judgment that just win the game on the spots. But something that generates, draws you six cards and also gets rid of five cards from the opponent. That's, like, impossible. I'm what nightmares fear. That may be the only game where there, that's ever happened in the history of Legends of Runeterra, like to be honest. That may have never happened before. With you it may never happen again. Wow, Back Alley Barkeep and Dawn and Dusk? Okay, that's... Speaking of value... That could be some pretty sweet value right there. Um... Refreshments from a Ooh, and then also have on guard. Oh no, we're not gonna have. Ooh, we're not gonna have dawn and dusk plus on guard the next turn. I could go swiftwing lancer and on guard, but then you know the lancer already has the challenger anyway. Burn away the shadows. Oh, dawn and dusk lux. Yeah, we could do that. Could do that. Most definitely. Thanks, Tizzle. Yep, right there. Um. Yeah, I mean, you could play some Catastrophe. But Catastrophe doesn't, like, Catastrophe only rewards you if everything else works out, and it's also just pretty expensive. And so, like, if everything else works out in your deck, you're probably going to be winning anyway. So it only rewards you for games that you're winning. So it doesn't really... That doesn't really sound like something that's worth it. Missed a chance to run. Mm. Problem with doing single combat is that they have another might. Right, because if I if I single combat and kill those, then they might Senna and then I die. And dying not good. We can do this. Or if they yeah. They have like a single combat. Could be bad. Could be really bad. Um I don't think I single combat right now. I only have four mana. So 
this is just better on Swiftwing Lancer, isn't it? Because it's not like... Let's see, the other Luxes... The other Luxes will be five sixes. But they'll just be five sixes. Yeah, Dawn and Dust is just going to create one laser. I think it's just better on this card. Because otherwise I'd have to like have it resolve and then have to on guard. I've been hiding my life too long. Yeah, this deck is, this isn't like a, a super great deck or anything. This is just a for fun deck, but it's it's really just all about getting the, the most use out of your cards of just, um, you know, each card trying to generate as much value as you can. Now, the other thing about this deck is, that doesn't seem, that was a really bad back-to-back, -back, wasn't it? That was just a useless back-to-back. -back. They know about this final spark in hand. They didn't keep. Darius doesn't survive final spark. Basically, you want to, you also you want to like kind of be defensive. You want to stay alive for a long time because the longer the game goes, the better it is for you because you get to just generate so many cards. So longer games equals good things. I got the goods. So that's another thing about the deck. You want to try to protect your life total at the expense of cards because you can generate right, more cards. Some folks up. Welcome to my humble estate. We march as one, an unstoppable force. I basically need to make sure that might doesn't kill me, which I think I can I think I can do without having single combat. For the glory of Demacia. Darn. I was hoping that was going to hit. To victory. Sound the alarm. Show some respect. Cuz yeah, a might gives this 6, so they only do Formation. <clears throat> 2 damage to me. J Madarda. It's so many random cards in this deck. So playing the Mage Seeker Investigator, because that's that's what's gonna allow me to play both of these things to generate a final spark. This puts them down to two. And then at two. A concern strike. We get to play Prismatic Barrier, get a final spark, final spark the 3 1, and kill them. I'll protect you. GG's. Yeah, we're not a great Lux deck, but it does work sometimes. You think a, a deck with eight spells, you wouldn't want Lux in it, but we have so many things that generate spells that it works. The superior 
tactic is to never give up. GG's. All right, the card factory, three and one. Yeah, getting random cards. It's been pretty sweet. Okay, we're gonna be playing against a Teemo deck with Ionia. Could be a Teemo Wayfinder kind of deck. Could be that. Dude, we'll take 4-1 all day. 80% win rate, we'll take that all day. Academic, it's too tough. A foray into the field? How exciting! Feed Demacia! Feed Demacia. Take from the rich, give to me. So, potentially, if these will stay at 2 twos, we can attack in here and make it so they, you know, like, we'll see. Like, if they have card draw, they get to they get to trade. Oh, well. Just how it is. Oh, they're going suit up over there. Okay. So, that's not bad for us. We traded War Chefs and a couple of damage on the pickpocket for suit up their one drop and a couple of damage on the thing that got suit up. Suit up. That's not bad. You name it, I'll nick it. Hopefully get a couple of hits in with some pickpockets. Create some random stuff. Alright. Rush? <laughs> what? Who plays a rush? Yeah, Avalanche is definitely playable. Absolutely. Avalanche is a pretty good card. The the thing is is find you know, finding a spot for Avalanche in in whatever deck, but uh, they would want to play it. But yeah, it is absolutely a playable Here we go. card for sure. Here we go. So using rush to give this thing quick attack could be kinda nice where it gets the two attacks in the turn. That'd be more useful if they would block. Alright, that's pretty cheeky. They grow up so fast. about to get a lot of puff caps. They're leaving one mana. It's a good thing all of our cards like just generate cards and they're not um 
nothing to worry about. It's not if like us drawing cards. Oh, I can't play that. I thought this was going to create a detain for me. I forgot that I hadn't cast an expensive spell yet. I should have attacked it with my 1 1 and just let it die. Drew zero pop caps. That's... No, I haven't seen of the other tricks that. Hmm. <laughs> okay, just one, just one. Anything, so it's just 10 damage. All right, GG's four and one. And my opponent played four mana Grizzled Ranger. So that was pretty sweet. That worked out even better than I was expecting. We got to do some crazy stuff. We had that 11 for one judgment that we played. That's never, like, you know, we're never gonna have that again, right? 11 for one judgment. We took out five of our opponent's cards and drew six cards for just the one judgment, you know, judgment on the Chevalier. Um, so yeah, that was so that was a lot of fun. We got to you know generate some random cards with pickpocket. Um, probably the the investigator was pretty hard to turn on. I don't know if there's another good. There's probably just not. Yeah, it's probably just the best other um, two or three drop. I mean, I guess maybe you could play you, you could maybe play Vanguard Redeemer instead of Investigator, but I don't know if that's even better. Um, but yeah, the investigator was fine. It was fine. It was a lot of times it was just the three mana three three for us, but I guess sometimes it did create those detains, and detain is a valuable one to have. Um, Benefactor was pretty cool. The the epic. Um, overall, you know, Swiftwing Lancer definitely great. Overall, pretty sweet. We got to do a bunch of crazy stuff with this deck. So if you want to have fun and do crazy things and have um, a bunch of random stuff in your hand, and you'll just you know never know what's going to happen in a game, and all the games will be different. <laughs> give this one a shot. All right, but that's it here for the card factory. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you for the next video.